so much time getting you out of trouble. Trouble that no intelligent person would have ever gotten into. Okay, what's it this time? Well, that ain't no fault of mine. Yeah? Sit down, I'll tell you. I own a valuable water right. And there's a lot of good farmland in my ranch. So I got the idea of selling off this farmland to families who want to move in and make homes for themselves. Yeah, I admire you feeling that way, Fred. Now, how does that spell trouble? Well, McAllister owns a big outfit, and he wants everything in sight. He wants my water right. And he's dead set against having any settlers locate in the valley. So what? Tell him you don't want to sell your water right, and what you do is none of his business. I know, but something always happens to folks that talk to McAllister that way. Yeah, well, you go right ahead with your plans. He can't scare us. <laughs> You're sure mighty reckless with my life. Come on, help me get this place cleaned up. I won't be living like this much longer. I'm getting married. Yo, what? Oh, why not? I got a right to get married if I want to, ain't it? Sure. Sure, but... Well, you've got to find a woman crazy enough to marry an old goat like you. 
That's what you think. Listen to this. Dear Fuzzy, my great, big, gorgeous ornament, and you me. I am sure you are the answer to my maiden's prayer. Do you mean to tell me that any woman would pray for anything like you? Well, uh, that's what she says right here in the letter. Yeah. Where'd you meet her? Oh, I ain't met her yet, but <laughs> I told her what I was like. You haven't even met the lady? No, but she told me what she's like. You see, uh, I joined the local heart matrimonial club, and <laughs> that's how come we start writing each other. <laughs> <laughs> liberty with the truth and describing herself as you must have, you don't know what kind of a package you'll get. From what I hear, you don't seem to understand that I mean what I say. You need some education. <laughs> lesson. Drop around when you can give us another. You'll get a lesson that'll last you the rest of your life, which won't be long. Come on. Hey, uh, that's Jim McAllister. Yeah. Nice neighbor. Yeah. Uh. choice between him and a rattlesnake, I'd take the snake. Ah, oh, Fuzz, why don't you put that thing away? Haven't you got enough trouble without, without going romantic? Ain't hey, no trouble, it's easy. It's easy. I write to her, she writes to me. I, uh, we'll get married. <laughs> What's the next move, boss? I don't know yet. We sure run head on into something. Who is that other fellow? I never saw him before. I've heard Fuzzy Jones speak about his friend Billy Carson. That could be him. Well, whoever it is, he'll wish he hadn't horned into this party. my cattle. I sent one of my boys over to Scotty's range. Look like a farmer to me. Well, do I have to look like a farmer before I can buy a farm? 
No, I guess not. We're not running a beauty contest. There's a piece of property over here I'd like to talk to you about. Let's have a look. Telling you about. Do you mean to tell me you want to buy this land to farm? Well, if I'm crazy enough to buy it, you should worry. There's something fishy about it. Shoot him, it was someone else. You expect anyone to believe that? Here's his gun, Sheriff. He was one of my best boys. The one I said was scouting this range. There's been one shot fired from that gun. Uh, that's impossible. I fired no shot. How do you explain that empty shell? Let's take him in, Sheriff. I'll send someone out from the ranch for his body. We'll do that. Get on that horse. Oh, Sheriff, you gotta listen to me. Somebody else fired that shot. You gotta look around. Get on that horse before I bend this over your head. on my shirt. <laughs> You're a pretty good actor. I like to knock myself out watching you die. Well, it ain't funny to me. I gotta play deadly hang that guy. Come on, let's get out of here. talking to a fellow, and boom, somebody shot him. Yeah? Who fired the shot? I don't know, but the sheriff and Jim McAllister happened along just then, and they claim I done it. Funny they just happened along at that time. Seems like McAllister's having the sheriff play his game. Now, you watch your step, young fella. I don't like that kind of talk. Come on, get in there. Be smart. Hit the road. You'll do yourself no good hanging around this valley. Maybe I can give you an argument on that. I don't argue. When I say something, that's it. What am I gonna do? I didn't kill that fella, but they'll hang me for it just as sure as I'm a foot high. Take it easy now, Fuzz. I'll get you out of this somehow. Even if they don't hang me, my rights will go to pot while they got me locked up in here. But this Jim McCallum... Uh, don't worry about a thing. I'll look after everything. Mm -hmm.
suppose that's what hooked the pill to Boggs? Gosh, gee, I, I wouldn't want her to know that I'm in jail. If it is, Fuzz, I'll, I'll cover up for you. Mm -hmm. well, don't forget, she's my girl. I beg your pardon, are you Miss Matilda Barton? Fuzzy! Oh, you great, big, wonderful man! I beg your pardon, miss, but I, I'm not Fuzzy Jones. You're not? Uh, no, no ma'am. What a pity. Where is my Fuzzy? Well, you uh, might say that he's uh, he's all wrapped up in some very important business. Uh, you might even call it a matter of life and death. I see. Uh, I think I'd better run you on out to Fuzzy's place. You can make your home there, and then when Fuzzy gets back, you two can go ahead with your wedding. Well, anything you say is all right with me. And I mean all right. I don't want to make a nuisance of myself, but uh, I do hope you'll be able to spare a little time to keep me from feeling lonesome until Fuzzy returns. I'll get the bug point. You can't do this to me. Shut your trap before I come in and shut it for you. But I've got to get out. It's important. Maybe the man you killed thought it was important to keep on living. Oh, I didn't kill nobody. Oh, shut up. Matilda, you're a you're a fine cook. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, that was a that was a great meal. Well, I guess I'd better be moseying along. Oh, don't be in a hurry. Have another cup of coffee. I just saw a horrible-looking face peeking in the window. Yeah. Act as if nothing's happened. Wow, that's hot. Guess we'd better let it cool off. Sorry, I wasn't on hand when you arrived. Fuzzy, let me get this straight. Was that uh, business of yours all taken care of? Uh, not exactly. I sort of left it unfinished. That may have been a mistake. I'm not stupid. What's this double talk all about? I have a right to know what I'm walking into. Uh, yes, ma'am, I guess you have. They're, uh, they're trying to hang Fuzzy for a murder he didn't commit. Who do you mean by they? Well, I, uh, I don't know for sure. But I'll gamble that Jim McAllister has a finger in the pie. Who is Jim McAllister? Oh, he's something that ought to have been buried a long time ago. Thinks he can run everything in the valley and make me sell out whether I want to or not. I... Hmm, I see. I 
I still say we should stop by and take a look at the Jones place. Uh, he wouldn't be foolish enough to hide out at home. I don't know about that. I hear a good-looking gal from in on the morning stage asking for him. Uh, that might be worth looking into. That might be just the bait to keep him hanging around. Fuzz, you can't be hanging around here. Sheriff is going to be turning over every rock looking for you. Say, you seem to be mighty anxious to get rid of me. Don't be foolish. Now that you're busted out of jail, I'd be glad to see you stay out. Is that what I came out here to marry? Well, he's... He's not very good looking, miss, and he isn't over... Overeducated, but he's got a heart of gold. What's the cash value of a heart of gold? <laughs> uh, I, I like a gal with a sense of humor. <laughs> And, and don't you worry, I'll get out of this trouble and we'll have our little love nest. Hey, Fuzz. Mr. Sheriff, get going. Quick! Go on through the window and take my horse. He's fresh. Go on. Let me do the talking. Yeah, what do you want? We're looking for Fuzzy Jones. He's not here. We'll make sure of that. Jim McAllister. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Place kind of rough. friends, aren't you? Yes, ma'am, the best. He'd never win a beauty contest, but he's all right. You could do a lot worse than tie up with old Fuzz. I'm not looking for the worst. I uh, guess I'd better stick around and keep an eye on the place till Fuzzy gets back. I can bunk out there in the barn comfortably. I'll be glad to have you nearby. I'd feel nervous here all alone. Uh, you've got nothing to worry about. Good night. Good night.
over here. Boy, am I glad to see you. Say, did you bring me something to eat? Sure, Fuzz. Help yourself. Where's my horse? Over there for the rocks. Ooh. Put up here in the hills. Now, Gallister knows the truth about that killing. I'll get it out of him somehow. Eat or talk. Don't try to do them both at the same time. But I'd be yearning for Matilda. Yearning for Matilda, huh? Well, she'll keep. You have no time for romance until you get that neck of yours out of danger. McAllister. I want some information. I ain't telling you nothing. You'll tell me how McAllister framed that murderer of Fuzzy. I'll beat your head off. Start talking. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, maybe this will help you. Get What's going on here? I found Fuzzy Jones and he helped him get away. You're trying hard to get yourself into trouble. Guilty. We'll let the courts decide that. And if you ain't, you'll find yourself in jail right with him. Come on, get your horse. We'll try and catch up with him. Now oh, I'm getting sick and tired of hiding out in here, waiting till they catch that guy and hang him. No telling how long it'll be. A guy might just as well be in jail. What are you kicking about? You're getting paid for doing nothing. Well, maybe so. But it gets pretty monotonous. I wish you'd picked out somebody else to get killed. Oh, boss. 
we got company. And she's pretty, too. Keep out of sight. Oh, this is a fine time to ask a guy to play dead. You won't be playing if you don't do as I say. Come in. Are you Mr. McAllister? At your service. I'm Matilda Boggs. You don't look like the kind of a girl whose name would be Matilda Boggs. That's my real name. I use a different one on the stage. It begins to make sense. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Why did you come here? I have an idea we can be of some help to each other. In what way? You want Fuzzy's Ranch? I want money. Huh. You're plenty cold-blooded about it. I've learned you have to be cold-blooded or be a sucker. I'm always willing to pay for what I want. Delivery. You came out here to marry him. Sure, and that was a good joke on me. Oh, I got fed up with the life of an actress and thought I'd grab me a husband and settle down. I wouldn't marry any of the trash I met hanging around a the theater. So I fell for an ad in a matrimonial paper. He made it sound pretty. Wonderful ranch, a big, handsome husband, just losing love and devotion. He really gave you a song and dance? You know what I got. He double-crossed me, and I don't feel like coming out here just for the ride. I think we can do business. When we catch Fuzzy, he'll be hung for murder. You've got to figure some way to marry him, and then turn him over to the sheriff. I think that can be managed. As his widow, You'll own the property. Then we'll make a deal. I'll be seeing you. Keep away from here until you're a widow. We don't want this Carson to get suspicious. Carson is my idea of what I thought Fuzzy would be. But don't worry. I never let sentiment interfere with business. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, boy. Hey, she a knockout. You dumb idiot. When I tell you to keep out of sight, I mean it. She might be on the level, but I'm not taking any chances. She might have come over here just to spy on us. over Jim McAllister's and well I I thought I'd like to get a little better acquainted <laughs> well I'm I'm busy now maybe some other time was well, you're crazy to be coming back here I was a fool to bring you that note Oh, uh, when Matilda sends for me, I'll go through fire and water. You're liable to get your whiskers singed and your feet wet. And you stay here until I check up and see whether the coast is clear. I heard you were looking for a high-class husband, and you and I could buy a pretty swell little ranch with the money we're going to get off of Jim. And wasn't it wonderful that you just happened to be available? Yeah. <laughs> He mustn't see you here. Go on out that way.
Whitworth's fuzzy. Couldn't you find him? Yeah, I found him. I don't like the idea of his coming back here very much. I didn't hear anyone ask your opinion. I seen him just as plain as I see you. Don't be silly, plus you can. You didn't see any ghosts. Who was here, Matilda? There was no one here. He must have seen a ghost. He must have seen a ghost, eh? I'd sort of like to run into that ghost. I'm going out and see if I can find him. Anything human with that ghost putting your scared to pants off of me. You've got something more important than a ghost to worry about. Yeah, well, what? Your friend Billy. Well, what about Billy? He doesn't want me to marry you. You mean to tell me that... I hate to say anything about your friend, but I think we should get married right away. What a fine friend he turned out to be. I never thought he'd cut the ground out from under my feet. Something else been bothering me, Matilda. What were you doing at the McAllister Ranch? I was never at the McAllister Ranch. No, I saw you riding from that direction. It doesn't mean anything. There's a lot of country in that direction. Hey, hey, you've gone far enough. I won't have you doubting Matilda's word. And I never thought you'd pull a dirty trick on me. A dirty trick on you, Fuzzy. You crazy. I may have been, but I'm not now. Get going. Maybe you know what he's talking about. You know as well as I do. Yeah, oh, hello, Judge. Hello, Billy. What are you doing out here? Well, I got a message from Miss Boggs asking me to come. Said it was very important. Very important? Who delivered the message? Red Cassidy, McAllister's foreman. He was just a passing cowboy. I didn't know who he was. Fuzzy and I want you to marry us. Young woman, don't you know that Fuzzy's an outlaw? That doesn't make any difference to me. Hi, Judge. You're supposed to be in jail. I know, uh, but I'm thinking on getting married. Uh, that's the same as being in jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, stop dilly dallying around and start the marriage. I ain't got long to linger around here. All right. I ain't had a marrying job in a long time. I hope the sheriff don't interrupt the ceremony. Grab her hand. Now, Fuzz, don't you be in a hurry. You won't stand for that, will you, Fuzzy? You're darn tootin' I won't. You're not welcome here. Now get out and stay out. Fuzz, I, I really hate to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Judge, but there's too many lies tied up with this marriage. I'm gonna get the straight of it before it goes any further. You won't get away with this strong arm stuff. You can't stop me from marrying Fuzzy and I'll make you sorry you ever tried. Why don't you try to be a nice girl? Both of you sit down. I'm gonna make sure you stay put for a while. Over there.
keep you from getting hung first, but I can't keep you from making a fool of yourself. So I guess jail's the only safe place for you. Come on, Pep. Someday, Fred. Come on, get in there. The sheriff got fuzzy and saw him at the jail. Good. The plan must have worked out all right. I'll start the ball rolling. I'm glad the sheriff caught that murderer. Ed Slade was a good boy. Fuzzy Jones murdered him in cold blood. I'm in favor of seeing that Fuzzy Jones doesn't get away with another jailbreak. I'll bet you stay put this time. Uh, Fuzz, you're so stubborn and pig-headed. You won't listen to reason. If you wanted to get rid of me, why don't you take a shot at me? Then I wouldn't have to stand around here and think about you doing this to me. Oh, Fuzz, you got it all wrong. I'm just trying to stop you from making a foolish mistake. There's something wrong with you being rushed into that marriage. This is the only way I know how to stop it. Oh, don't tell me them lies. Go on away and leave me alone. Fuzz, I'm sorry you feel that way. Maybe someday you'll understand. entitled to a fair trial. But when you got a sheriff that can't even keep him in jail, something should be done. If he breaks out again, we may never get him. Best break I ever had in my life. That dumb cowboy has to come along and throw a monkey wrench. Well, he'll not stop me from cashing in, and I'll make him sorry he ever stuck his nose in my business. Must be kind of disappointing to have a wedding end like this. You sit there like a bump on a log. Why don't you try to get free and help me? Well, why wear myself out getting nowhere? No, the only thing that bothers me right now is a pesky fly that wants to sit on my nose. I wouldn't mind if he just sat, but he wants to keep walking around all the time. <laughs> Fuzzy's description, you look like the man he's supposed to have killed. Well, suppose I am a... Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No. You're the livest looking corpse I ever saw. What do you mean, corpse? You heard what I said. Oh, you're out of your mind. Yeah. Suppose I am. Let's take a little ride to town. Let Fuzzy have a look at you. I am not going any place with you. And the best thing you can do is get off of this ranch. <laughs> in the fight. He was murdered. I suspected that Fuzzy Jones was rustling my cattle. So I sent Ed over to investigate. That was the last time I ever saw him alive. Ed was a friend of mine, and I'm going to see to it that his murder gets what's coming to him. Now, 
about a trip to town. Have you changed your mind? You'll wish you never got mixed up in this business. You could be wrong. Get on your horse. I've called my friends. But so help me, I'll blast the first one that tries to rush this door. Now be smart. Don't be fooled. I'm calling on you in the name of the law. Go on about your business. Some of you men take care of him. The others come with me. Get down off that horse. Hey, that's the fellow they said I killed. He ain't much alive, but he ain't dead either. That's right, Fuzz. There's your ghost. Untie the sheriff. Sheriff, lock these two men up. I'll think of some charge to bring against him. McAllister framed this whole thing to get Fuzzy hung for murder. McAllister did that to me? That's right, Fuzz. Stand back, boys. He's my meat. All right, get in there, you two. And the Fuzzy Jones. Nice of everybody to be so obliging. You know what you're doing. Now belly up the bar. The drinks are on me. <laughs> Billy, I, I, you know, I know what you're trying to say, Fuzz. Forget it. That's Matilda. Uh, 
I'm Matilda. Well, where are you going? Home. You're not going to leave me flat. That's not a bad idea. That's what I call leaving them flat.